going on with our tradition, shall we say, of visiting the graves of former Manchester United players. We've done Eddie Coleman and David Byrne. Today we're at St John's Church on the Height looking at the grave of Jeff Penn. Now Jeff was a Salford lad, he was born in September 1932. Uh, he was the only child. His father was called Cliff and his mother was called Clara. His father was a coal miner. As far as I can work, well, find out, it must have been in this locality where his father worked, so I'm guessing it was Agecroft. Jeff was a prodigious footballer. He actually captained Salford youth team. That's no mean feat in itself. And in 1947, he captained Salford schoolboys to the final of the All England schoolboys. They won the trophy naturally. And they were presented on stage with a trophy at the Victoria Theatre brought by none other than Frank Swift, the Manchester City goalkeeper. We'll come back to that name shortly. Jeff left school in 1948-49 and joined Manchester United as an apprentice straight away. Um, he played many games for the youth teams, but he did make his first team appearance in the season 1954-55 against Burnley away, uh, a game in which they won 4-2. In total, he made 12 full team appearances for Manchester United. Now, Jeff had a, how can I put it, a hard act to follow because he was following for Roger Byrne who at the time was captain of England and basically it was job was, I should imagine he'd hoped that Roger Byrne would get injured so he'd get more games. Um, this did actually happen to Roger Byrne. Um, but himself, Jeff, he suffered a broken foot and that curtailed his career for several seasons. In 1953 he married his sweetheart Marion Malahind and they had a daughter, Karen, three years later. Their names are on the headstone here. <coughs> in February 1958, Jeff was one of the players from the Manchester United team who travelled to Belgrade to play Red Star in the quarter-final of the European Cup, a game in which they drew three all, and which gave them victory to the semi-final, actually. But Jeff only went as cover for Roger Byrne, and Roger Byrne played on that game. So theoretically, Jeff had no reason to travel to Belgrade and we all know what happened next. On the return home the plane crashed killing 23 passengers. I mentioned earlier that Frank Swift, the Manchester City goalkeeper who presented Jeff with a trophy in 1947. He was on, the, on board the plane as well in a twist of fate. And he, he was a journalist and he too was to lose his life. Um, I find it terribly ironic, sad that Jeff shouldn't have been on the plane, he had no reason to, as I say, but he was, he lost his life, and he'll go down forever, just being one of the Busby babes who died on a tragic day. His daughter Karen was just five months old when Jeff died, and she'd obviously never known a father properly, would she? And Jeff himself was only 25 when he died, and never reached his potential. We'd never, we'll never know what he could have achieved. England fame, Manchester United fame. Roger Byrne was, obviously was due to retire and Jeff was the natural succeeded to him, to the throne shall we say, but we'll never know these things. But he's buried here in St John's Church and Earls of the Height. And if you're a United fan from Salford, which you should be, please visit. Someone else has been and left scarves and his flowers and reminders of previous visits. I think these must have been from the February visits. So if you pass in, please call in and pay respects to Jeff. It's worth saying actually that the graveyard, was, it's fair to say, has been neglected. Uh, you can you look around you, there's weeds, there's grass grown everywhere. And it's sad really, I don't know what, what is going to happen, but I do remember that about 10 years ago. Uh, it was put in place that Manchester United would be looking after the grave, tending the grave and uh, keeping it obviously neat and tidy. That seems to have gone by the board, doesn't it, looking around me. And also, I remember reading that the probation services had young lads with these payback schemes tidying the graveyards up. You know, we've either got no criminals in Salford or they've abandoned that scheme. I'm not sure, but it is badly neglected and Manchester United, if you're watching this or listening, reading etc, can you please do something about it? It's 
it's not a nice thing to watch if, if you're a visitor to Salford and you come to see Jeff Bent's grave and it is quite shocking so please please you do something.